Hi, guess where I am? <laughs> I'm sitting in a train. What sort of train? Well, it's the world's first fully solar powered train. Awesome, let's check it out. <laughs> I'm here at uh, Byron Bay, which is uh, the easternmost point of Australia. If you're wondering, um, go check it out on Google Maps. And yeah, they've ju it just started running uh, limited uh, trips, like tourist uh, type trips. And they're the old uh, Red Rattler uh, carriages, which we call them here. Let's go out and have a look. And uh, they're sort of like restored these things. And you can see, let's go up here. There we go. There's solar panels on the roof of the train, but they've also got solar panels on the roof of the station here. And uh, of course, uh, batteries inside them, um, inside the train, so that uh, charges the whole lot. And I'll take you in and show you the. I mean, these are the old um, trains that you used to call them Red Rattlers. They ran in Sydney and uh, they've actually restored them. And we'll go up here and check out some of the controls. Let's have a look what they got. It says there, looks like they've got some inverters here. Jet power for those playing along at home. I don't know, not familiar with those. Don't go up there, don't go up there. There we go. MR lag pressure switch and like everything in here is fully electric. It does have a diesel uh, backup generator, I believe, but uh, that's purely for backup. It is fully electric. So we're going to go on like a 25 minute ride and here we are inside. Let's have a look at the control panel here. Here we go. For those playing along at home, I've got no idea what the acronyms are. Number one engine, forward reverse, please note. Time delay, throttle. Whoops, little Huxley's checking it down here at my feet, checking it out. There we go. Hey Huxley, you having fun? He's having fun. There we go, that's a new bit of kit. But uh, apart from that, they've got a lot of the original uh, gauges and whatnot in here. So there we go, battery management system one engaged, battery management system two engaged. So it looks like they have two separate uh, battery systems on this thing. What else have they got in here? Hey Sagan, say hi. Hi. He's excited, they're both excited. Huxley loves trains. Yay. He loves trains, yay. Hello. All right, circuit link, whatever, the taco link. Okay, made in, oh, made in Australia, beautiful. Um, but yeah, I presume the batteries are like uh, underneath somewhere. Oh, not sure that's uh, old school stuff. Uh, no, I can't see the panels on the roof, but they're supposed to be on the roof of the station. And uh, we're headed off. It's a beautiful day. Look at that. In Byron, not a cloud in the sky. <laughs> oh, I'm here with Neil, and uh, he's going to tell us all about it. These are the um, compressor inverters. Yeah. They change 400 volt DC mm -hmm. to 240 volt AC to run the compressors. On right. The train. Right. Put the electric motors are down further. Yep. Now, normally an electric traction motor, I can't even put my arms around it. Right. Okay. These things are a lot smaller, a lot yep. shorter, and there's two of them down there, and they've got their own supply, and we've got instruments in the cab that tell us what's going on with the temperature, voltage mm -hmm. use, yep. how much we've got left, how much the cells on the roof are giving us. And you told us, uh, you told me before that you ran all day yesterday with just the one charge on the pack. That's it. About 30 odd Ks, 30, 40 yeah, Ks or yeah. something? Just one. Like that? Oh, yeah. Excellent. Because it's been so sunny, it just keeps charging it. And the train fit it with a regen brake. Yep. Every time I apply the regen brake, it's putting power back it's in. It's putting power back in. How much power do you reckon you get back from the regen? Um, Any idea? Percentage wise? They say roughly around about a quarter. A quarter of the capacity. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah. And you've got a dummy load to dump power when you get excess. Yep. Right. Are they under the floor as well? Um, they're under the floor. Yep. Um, but um, we go and isolate certain parts too to get rid of it. And all the batteries are on a skid under the uh, train. Yep. Yep. And they're on a skid for maintenance purposes. Oh, got it. Right. So they can pull out the whole. Pull out the whole lot. Pack and. Pull out the yep. whole pack. Yeah. And, and examine it. Fantastic. And this is the world's first electric? World's first, as far as I know, full size. Full size electric passenger train. Right. And what's the history of these particular carriages? This carriage you're standing in right now um, 
was built in 1949. The trailer car behind was built in 1963. So it's sort of summing up, you, you, you're looking at the 1950s, the 21st century technology. Fantastic. And that's where the difference is. <laughs> and top speed? Um, we're restricted in speed mm -hmm. um, to 40 kilometers an hour. Right. If the reason because the trip stays short, I've got to allow for the passenger attendance to get through all the passengers got it. before we get to the other end. Right. If we get a very full train, I'll go slower. It's just to make sure that we do have a set of procedures we have to follow mm -hmm. when running the train in incorporating the passenger assistance. Um, they're going to make sure I haven't dropped dead behind the controls. Got it. Of course. There's, so there's a dead man switch? Uh, oh, so there's, some... There's, there's more than one device in the cab. Right. For safety. And does, does the heat cause any problems? No. With batteries, inverters? No. no? It might maybe long term battery pack life or something? Oh, look, I really don't yeah. know about that just yet. It's only yeah. been about it's, three or four weeks. Three or four weeks, exactly. So, <laughs> yeah. And because it's the world's first, it's going to have niggling problems. Yep. So we just... Any major issues with it so far? No. No? no. Works pretty well? Yeah. Excellent. Fantastic. Thanks, Neil. No worries. We're moving. The thing you notice is that it's virtually silent, isn't it, Sagan? It's almost completely silent. Ah, oh, finally getting a breeze.